The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the Superstar. If this person spent as much time focused on their ring work as they do for standing up for what they believe in, they'd maybe be undefeated. Corey, I think sometimes a person's courage and character speaks louder than their record. Really? Show me the last time someone got a title match because of their courage and character. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Here comes a true superstar. And from Dresden, Germany, Lee D. Tama. You know, this industry was built on respect between competitors. But when this individual hits the ring, all niceties fly out the window. So what? There's nothing wrong with being about serious. There's no time for please and thank you. Sometimes I wish you'd fly out a window. She has been counting the weeks, the days, the minutes until this match, and she is now ready to compete. Some superstars have called the tables, ladders, and chairs at ringside a sort of candy land. How disturbing is that, Byron? It's a disturbing mindset. Battling in a match like this does irreparable damage to your body. Yeah, but it can do the same to an opponent. There's no better way. Uh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover leg! Check out the torque on the back. This won't win the match, but it's one way to... Oh, it will spin through and counter. Look at this display of power, overhead, belly to belly. That's using your head. Taking it outside the ring now. And she's pulled out a steel chair. That could be a thing. All right, snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. In a TLC match, how important is it to use everything at your disposal? It is absolutely crucial, Cole, and don't limit yourself to TLC. If it were me in there, I'd call this match tables, ladders, chairs, stairs, the ring bell, an exposed turnbuckle, and my buddy's backstage. Uh, yeah, Corey, that's not gonna fit on a poster. Yeah, but it'll win you the match. Think beyond the TLC, and it will pay off immensely. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh, quite an effective counter. Uh-oh. Nothing fancy there. She's beginning to flag a little. Taking it to the floor. What's she gonna do? A steel chair? Something we all know to be a steady weapon. She's setting it up right in the middle of the ring. Right under the prize. Perfect. Oh, what a counter. Double underhook. Hoist it up. Oh, stalling, taking their time. We got all day up here. Boom! And now she's climbing up the ladder, hopefully with a plan in mind. A win here would be a bit of a surprise. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. Ooh. Oh, my gosh! Catastrophic damage on the back. Oh, look at this. The power! Strongest slam! Ouch. Wait, what? Is that a bite? You can tell she wants to put an end to this. 
Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Oh, it's locked in. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Making the climb here, guys. Oh, looking to steal a win here. Can she do it? I don't know about you guys, but this looks like quite a gamble to take at this point in the match. I agree with you, Corey. Insulting. I ought to do some serious damage. This match is wearing her down. Nothing but respect for hanging tough this long, but this might be where the match finally slips out of hand. She avoids the contact. Oh, and a drop kick on the mark. She's getting something from under the ring. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. She is exposing all the cracks in her competition's game. Overhead, belly to belly. Oh, that backfired on Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up.